some of those barracks. Well, we're down in the cellar. So, okay, so Potato barracks. Cellar. Barracks. Well, the cellar. The, and I was standing guard with a guy. I know he was from Wisconsin. That's, that's all I can remember. I can't remember his name. Uh, and uh, we had, you know, they had, we were in the basement. <coughs> and they had those basement windows where they had dug out, you know, uh, I mean, here's a wind that blows the ground. Yeah, right? yeah. And you you dig, dig a out, circular yeah. place yeah, out. Yeah, right. And so, in order to uh, keep somebody from coming up there, maybe and drop it in a grenade or something, found an old sink, a big old sink, and put over that hole. <coughs> and this guy and I were standing guard at night, the middle of the night. We heard something. And Sound like somebody was trying to move that sink away from that window, and he said, "Well, I'll go down there and uh, uh, <coughs> see what's happening." And I, and I was standing guard. We had a, a <coughs> submachine gun that had gotten out of the tank somewhere. I don't remember. And I said, "Well, if somebody down there, you hit the ground, fall, so I can start firing this thing." And all of a sudden, this damned explosion, and this crowd had thrown a, a hand grenade. concussion, not a, not a fragment grenade, but you know one of those hand grenades. Yeah. And he had a bandolier on, and that damn thing lodged in that bandolier. Whoa. And he reached in there and got it and threw it out, and he got it just out of an arm blank before it left his hand and blew his hand off. You remember that? No. no. They got him down the basement and stopped the bleeding, and I've never been able to find that yet. No. Mm. Or, or snow packs. Snow packs. No. And we gave up our leather shoes. No, that was a big mistake. And we had a big cardboard box full of these leather shoes. Mm -hmm. And Priori no sent the same. She said, You got that dead man out here, now take these boots out of here. So we were carrying this box down that trail, and whenever the Germans saw activity, they'd send yes. over an 80 millimeter mortar. Of course. So we almost got down the railroad tracks, and they saw, apparently saw us carrying this box. So they sent over an 80 millimeter mortar, and we jumped, jumped in the cellar hole that was there. And we kind of looked at each other, because this thing landed right near us. And I had a piece of shrapnel sticking out of my forehead, <laughs> and the guy, I don't know who the guy was with me, he said, are you all right? <laughs> and you don't know whether you are or not. Yeah. So he just pulled it out. But I never got the Purple Heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>